Ever wondered how to make a cover for a cutter like this out of aluminum? In our last episode, we've made this fixture, the entire process of it, and today it's all about how to mill the actual cover part. My name is Mark, welcome to another episode of Daytron Tech Talk. In this special fixture, we are combining both the standard vacuum work holding system with the like the meander slots here and a special fixtures with gaskets in it and the uh, shape of the actual cutter. If you haven't seen the video yet, make sure to check this out. Quite important for the entire process. I'm gonna bring this plate of aluminum now on the machine and we're gonna take a look at the actual milling process with a few speeds and feeds of the tools. Let's go. All right, the covers are now finished. They're super smooth, there's no sharp edge, so they are like really nice to handle. Now one last thing is missing before we can actually put it together and assemble it, because if we check that these rails, we need two drill holes in the rails um, so, we can, so we can actually put them together. So that's why we've made this little fixture here and already pre-drilled a couple of these. Um, so this is just a clamp, it holds four of these rails at a time. Um, we machine them with a double flute end mill and at the end we have two bores with a little chamfer. So let's just put them together. I got two different um, screw or, or uh, thread sizes and the reason is we put a magnet on the back so we can attach it to the machine. On the table. And now I can put the blade in. And here we come. If I want, I have like an end stop here. So if I want to exchange the blade, I can like slightly lift it and take it out. So thanks for watching this episode, the second episode of the uh, Daytron Cutter. Um, if you have any comments or ideas or like always tasks that you want to ask us, feel free to uh, put a comment down below. And as I promised you at the beginning, we have a special fe feature on the vacuum plate on our special fixture. You remember there were like three little pockets. We've equipped them with magnets. So let's just see what we can do with it now. <laughs> 